Riley here for Board Game Geek TV at Spiel 2014. I'm sitting down again with Frank Di Lorenza. How are you? I'm of, pretty good. Of R&R &R Games. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> and the second game that you brought for us to look at is Spike. Spike. That's right. This is uh, Stephen Glenn's uh, railroad game. Uh, it is a basically a game where you're building a network of railroads and you're trying to spread out to different cities so you can get to various commodities. And it's also a pick up and deliver game because you have contracts that you have to fill to make money because it's all about the money in this game. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a quick overview of how to play this game. Does that make Excellent. sense? All right. So what you have here, it's played in three rounds. Round one you'll see is shown by this card face up. Round two will have this card face up. In round three, all of these chime cards get put into the deck at the bottom, shuffled in, and whenever the last one comes out, it's the end of the game. All right. So it's a quick game overall. You mean, once you learn how to play it, it you're playing it in an hour. Uh, you might take a little longer on your first run through because yeah. you're learning the game. Each round is basically going through this deck of rail cards. The rail cards are what allow you to build onto the, the um, board with your little tracks, the cool little tracks that we have here. Ah, uh, yes, I'm noticing right. that rail cards have different colors That's and right. symbols. That's right, they match I'm the different type of rail directions on the board. Got it. Yeah. You also have, of course, a little locomotive as your score piece, and you have another little locomotive somewhere around here. Hi there. One. There it is. In my start city, I chose to start in Colombia. Now, there's a lot to this game, but it's not that hard. You, What you have here, I have started with three contracts. Basically, you get an equal division of contracts among the people that are playing the game. So, there are 12 different commodities. They're all represented up there on the chart. Right now, they're at different prices, three, two, and one. So, on my turn, I have to do one action and only one action, okay? So, if I'm starting in Colombia, I'm gonna start and do an action which can be either draw rail cards to add to my hand. So this might be my hand of rail cards, mm -hmm. but I want more. So I can draw only the number on my train. Look at the cool train I have here. Oh, here, well, let's actually, we'll slide that That's out right. in the middle so everyone can really, really look at the cool train you got there. This is my locomotive. It's only a speed one. It's basically a Puffin Billy at that point. Mm -hmm. This one here is my tender. It allows me to have a two card draw every time I go to draw cards. And this is my freight car where I can actually load freight onto the car. Now, I can upgrade any of these during the game. That's an action in this game, the upgrade. It costs three for the first, five for the second, and you have no money at the beginning of the game. Yeah. So you have to get money. Well, how are you gonna get money? You're gonna build a network of rails, attach cities, and each city you attach is gonna bring you money. So how do we do that? Well, let's say on my first action, I drew some cards, all right? Now I've got more cards in my hand, and I'm going to actually do another action, which is my next turn, I'm gonna build rail. So for example, I only, all I need to build rail is cards that match those directions on the board. But I have to go from a city to a city. So let's say I wanna go from Columbia down to Jacksonville. Well, I need to build with three of these double green lines that match what's underneath yep. that ground. So I have one there, I have two there, and I have, oh, I don't have the third one. Uh -oh. So what do I do? Well, what I do have is two of another color. Two of another color equals one of those. So two, two of a matching color. Matching though. color, exactly. So that's actually three green. I could build like that. I could also have done this. I could have done three of those to mean two green, and that's one. Okay. Always one less with the wild. But of course, it costs you more cards. Right. So those cards go away. But now I have track. I've made it to Jacksonville. Why? What's good about Jacksonville? It has cows. Cows are worth three. Yeah, I get three, three. on one, the two, scoreboard. Three. And this now drops to one, pushing the price up of the other commodities. So it's a constantly changing commodity price. All right? But that's a little bit of money. It's not a lot. I need a lot of money in this game, right? This goes up to 60 and more. So how do I get that? Well, I have these contracts. And each one has a little boxcar that goes with it. So, uh, unfortunately, I don't really need to be in Jacksonville. What I really needed to do was pick up my uh, fabric from Columbia because I have a fabric contract. So maybe I'm bringing it to Jacksonville. I don't think I am, but what I can do as another action is actually start my train. So on my turn, I say I'm gonna start my train. My train has a speed of one. one. So I'm gonna move it one space. Two, two. It's on the track, it's moving. From now on, every time it comes back to my turn, that train's gonna move again. So let's say it's my turn again, I move it for free, one, and I still get a new action. 
Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So you get that train moving, it's keep moving. L now, literally has momentum. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, it's picking up steam, it gets to Jacksonville, there's no more track. What do I do? I can go into Jacksonville if I want, but I don't have to. I can leave it idling on the track, and I can let, uh, if I build more track down here, I can skip over Jacksonville and keep going. Just pass right through. Exactly. Because where am I going on here? Well, there's five different cities here that I can well, bring Tabbert to. And I'll put that out in the middle there so we can take a look. So yeah. we could go to Buffalo, Tampa, Jackson. Tampa. There's oh, Tampa, Tampa. Right? right? And why do I want to go to Tampa? Because it's right there. So in my next turn, maybe I picked up this on a previous turn and took another card. Look at that. Two green. Next turn, I build two there more track. There we go. I'm in Tampa. I get the orange for a fruit price, which pushes up the fabric. I'm going to get another one, one two. No, I only got two. Oh, I only two. I don't like to cheat in the own game. <laughs> um, so I made it there. Now I move my train. Next turn for free goes one. I can upgrade my train, though. Let's say I spend some of that money I just All got. All right, so the first one was three. three. One, two, three. On my turn, I upgrade to a new engine. I get a two engine. Now it's going a little faster, right? I can also upgrade this to get more cards. So instead of picking two, I can pick three or four. And I can also add freight cars. So I have a longer freight train. I can add more cargo and drag it around. So let's say I had, uh, before I, I moved out of Columbia, I had added my cargo. And I'm bringing it down here. Next time I move two, right? So now it's one, two. I land in Tampa. Yay! All right. What do I do? I deliver this. So it's worth... Where's my contract right go? There. there it is. So I'm going to turn this over. I've delivered it, right? I delivered to Tampa. I'm going to get eight now because its okay. value is eight. And I will cover it, but show that Tampa's still there. Because if any of my other contracts had Tampa on it, I would have to cover it and show that I can't deliver there again. Because unfortunately, you only get one delivery to a city in this game, and you can't deliver twice to the same city. You can't also, once I've delivered this, I no longer have the cargo, it's gone. I only get three major deliveries during the game, or four, or six, depending on how many players are playing. This is two, three, or four players. Okay, uh, pretty much. That's the game in a nutshell. There's a few other little tweaks of rules that you can, you know, figure out when you buy the game. But um, in a nutshell, that's pretty much it. It's a tight little game. Uh, oh, there's a there is the root card I forgot about. Everyone has a root card at the beginning. If you can connect your city at the top here, in this case, it would have been Harrisburg up here. And if I can connect from Harrisburg to any of these cities by the end of the game, I'm going to get a bonus of that much money at the end for the furthest city I got to, plus a dollar for every city on there that I connected to. So uh, it's just a way to kind of add some at the end as a little boost. But Would you get the lower values here if I made a track from Harrisburg to Charlottetown? Well, but I didn't went, get all the way to that. It doesn't Dallas. matter. Yeah, you get whatever you got as far as this year. So if you only got to Charleston, you get two dollars. But let's say you hit Pittsburgh and Washington, you get two more dollars. Got it. Yeah. But you can get a maximum of twelve out of these. So it can be a big swing at the end if, if you connect it all. I assume those you sort of reveal at the end of at whether the, or not. At the you... very end, that's the last thing you reveal. To say, here's what I made. Oh, I won. No, you didn't. Yeah. That's when you get a spike and like, I win. <laughs> I just wanted to show, just to bring your train back on here, what oh, yeah. it looks like when the car goes on there because Absolutely. it's really Now we've loaded the fabulous. cargo. There it is. And you can see it, you now have a full box car. I'm having a little, little uh, like geeking out on, uh, on some pieces here. <laughs> <laughs> a, a squee moment. <laughs> awesome. No, it's a, it's a great little game. It uh, plays well in two, three, or four. And uh, I just, I think it's a really nice railroad game. It has both the, the railroad building and, and the pickup pick and delivery. delivery. It's just a I really... Mean, what more can a train fan want? Exactly. <laughs> it hits a real sweet spot with me. So. Well, Frank, thanks again for stopping by and bringing us Spike. Absolutely. <laughs> Spike from Stephen Glenn and r, &R Games. Awesome.